Both Rachel McQueen and her husband, Chris, thought they knew what to expect from an ultrasound appointment. But a trip to the doctor on January 3, 2017, left both of them in tears. This was because the mom-to-be experienced some unexpected pain during her checkup. The McQueens got married on March 26, 2011. Nearly six years later, the pair had already welcomed three children together. By the start of 2017, their little ones were one, three, and four years old. The Anvil, Kentucky, residents often shared glimpses into their life with three kids on Motherhood Madness, their YouTube channel. And by the end of January 2017, the McQueens would have a new cast member to add to their videos because baby number four was very much on the way before then, though, Rachel had to undergo an ultrasound with her OBGYN. Neither she nor her husband could have suspected what would happen during their appointment, and because it was so outlandish, the pair decided to tell the story in a video they shared on Facebook. The clip began with both McQueen parents sitting in a car. Then Rachel began to speak, revealing, The worst thing in OB history just happened to me. And my sweet husband's going to be here to help me tell the story. The mom to be went on to describe how uneventful the majority of her appointment had been. The first thing that the doctor does is he takes the little things and does the cotton swab and that, you know, goes great, she said. The start of the ultrasound had also gone great, according to Rachel. But then things inside of the examination room started to get a little heated, she said. The doctor gets some gel and when I think everything's going fine. At that point, Rachel turned to her husband to ask for his help in telling the story. Chris, how did I go again? She asked. The father of three then reenacted his wife's response. Oh, oh, what had you put in there? It's hot, he said. Chris went on to describe the doctor's reaction to Rachel's discomfort. Well, let me help you, he recalled the doctor saying. But according to the father of three, his wife was not open to that. You've got to go, you got to get out of here, she supposedly said. At that point, both McQueens broke out into fits of laughter. In fact, they were laughing so hard that they started crying. That's because they knew how the story ended and precisely why Rachel had been in such pain. The doctor grabbed the wrong bottle, the mom to be finally said through tears of laughter. Indeed, rather than using lubricant to conduct the examination, McQueen's doctor had actually put hand sanitizer inside of her. And that is what had caused the burning sensation. Chris went on to say, the doctor was like, he didn't know what was going on. Rachel agreed saying, I don't know if he thought I was having an allergic reaction or what. Oh man, that's hot. Thankfully, the pair were able to laugh about Rachel's OBGY in misfortune. She also made her doctor promise not to use hand sanitizer for that purpose ever again. Beyond that, the couple told the Huffington Post in January 2017 that they had no plans to change doctors. It seems that despite the mishap, the couple still loved their doctor. And fortunately, Rachel didn't have any problems beyond temporary discomfort and a bit of dryness. There was never any concern about the hand sanitizer. With no side effects a week later, all was well, she told the Huffington Post. What did have staying power though was the video that the McQueens recorded, showing the couple laughing hysterically throughout as they described the incident. The clip has proved incredibly popular. In fact, as of July 2018, it has received 9.4 million views on Facebook. As a result, the couple couldn't believe that the clip went viral. Rachel revealed to the Huffington Post, we didn't see it coming at all. You should have seen the celebration dance when we reached our first million. The mom of three also said that the video had brought the pair incredible joy. In addition, Rachel hoped that her funny story would bring light to others. We were literally laughing from ultrasound room to video, she recalled. We have had so much good feedback and are bringing laughter around the world. Many of the video's commenters praised the couple for their good sense of humor and the fact they found joy in some serious discomfort. Katina Carmen wrote, Y'all's laugh is awesome. Good to laugh at a bad situation. And the smiles likely continued when the couple welcomed their fourth child, a daughter, Minnie Sella Jubilee. Indeed, Rachel and Chris brought her home on February 3, 2017, a month after posting the video recounting their ultrasound experience. And almost a year after Minnie's arrival, the McQueens announced they'd be gearing up for even more visits to the doctor. That's because, as Rachel shared on Facebook, the pair was expecting their fifth child due June 24, 2018. Hopefully, the ultrasounds will be performed properly this time around. This story was really incredible. 
but you will like the next one more. A pregnant woman was worried about her ultrasound. Then she saw a face she recognized in the scan. As many women will testify, when going through a pregnancy, it can help having mom around. She has, after all, been through it all before. But when Rebecca Melia from Merseyside, UK, got spooked at a routine ultrasound, her mom wasn't there to turn to. However, when nurses finally showed Melia a scan of her unborn child, she saw a familiar face in the background. When stay-at-home mom Melia went for her routine scan on June 18, 2015, she had a good idea of what to expect. The procedures were something she's been through during her previous two pregnancies, and besides, that's exactly what they were, routine scans. However, when nurses took longer than expected to produce the images from the scan, 33-year-old Melia began to worry. The mom of three couldn't understand what the delay was all about. Nervous thoughts started running through her mind. Was there a problem? They had me there for a long time, Melia told the Liverpool Echo in July 2015. I could just tell they had seen something on the scan. I was convinced it was something wrong with my boy. Although the nurses hadn't said anything, a mother just instinctively knows when something's not right. Usually, Melia's mom, Sharon, would be with her for the ultrasound. But not this time. Beyond Melia's two kids, Charlotte, now 13, and her brother Peter, who is now 8, Sharon had 11 further grandkids from seven other children, and this was the first scan she had missed out of all of them. You see, in February 2015, Sharon had succumbed to a long battle with cancer. She was declared free of kidney cancer in July 2013, and the family thought she'd beaten it once and for all. However, the cancer later returned in a very aggressive way, and after a brave fight against the disease, Sharon passed away aged just 49. Sharon's passing was a big blow to the close-knit family, but there was something the much-missed mom didn't know before she passed. Her daughter was expecting. Melia never had the opportunity to tell her mom she was pregnant again. Sharon had no idea she was to become a grandmother for the 14th time. As Melia described to the Liverpool Echo, I have a little area in my room with pictures of my mom on, and before I went for my scan I was talking to her, saying I wish she was coming with me. This is her 14th grandchild, and she has been there for everyone. The nurse conducting the scan had known about Melia's recent loss, and no doubt it was something she thought about as she carried out her work. And when she finally handed over the picture, after the seemingly interminable delay, she had a surprise in store. As Nelia recalled, she said, I think you might like this one, with a smile on her face. Melia had been lost in her own thoughts about what could possibly be wrong and hadn't considered what would happen next. As a result, she took the pictures home to Kirkby, a town just outside of Liverpool in the northwest of England. She posted the scan to her Facebook. Melia then proceeded to show the scans to her mom and tell her all about the experience. Sharon couldn't see the scan or hear her daughter, of course. Nevertheless, everyone in the family still believed they could feel her energy as if she was there with them. As Melia explained to her mom what had happened, she took a closer look at the picture in her hand. Then it hit her. At the top of the scan, she saw a mysterious shape that she believes to be an image of her mom's face. Gobsmacked, she was struck dumb at what she saw. I couldn't believe it, Melia explained to the Liverpool Echo. I was shocked, happy and overwhelmed all at the same time. My mom's face, which I longed to see, was there as clear as day on my scan. It was further cause for the mom of three to believe that although she had gone, Sharon was never far away. But it's unlikely this really was a case of her mom's ghostly face appearing in the scan of Melia's unborn son. A more likely explanation is that the image shows an example of Pareidolia. That's to say it's a trick of the mind where the reflex organ perceives something familiar in response to an external stimulus. Perhaps the most well-known example of pareidolia is the man in the moon. There is no literal man in the moon, of course, yet when the moon is full, the shadows cast by the variations in its terrain can appear to the brain to resemble the features of a human face. Pareidolia can also help explain why people recognize some of the most basic shapes as a face. For example, a circle containing two horizontal dashes side by side, with a third central and parallel underneath the pair. Change the angles of the lines and people will even recognize different emotions, as interpreted by cognitive processes. It's a similar theory to what Swiss psychologist Hermann Rorschach developed for his Rorschach test. This is a psychological examination where subjects relay what they see in various ink blots. Patients' responses are used to determine their personality traits and offer an insight into their emotional well-being. Not only does pareidolia relate to images, but it can also be applied to sounds or music too. 
Recorded music played faster or slower than intended, or even played in reverse or indiscriminate noises produced by everyday objects can deliver sounds that may be interpreted as voices. As far as Melia was concerned, though, an image of her much-missed mom had appeared on a scan of her unborn son. Since her mom's passing, Melia believes that Sharon's presence can be strongly felt. The mom of three maintains that her mother watches over everything she and the rest of her family does. Melia described in a Facebook post in May 2018 how her mom turned the TV on and off again when Melia asked her mom to let her know she was there. She told the Liverpool Echo, I wanted to share this story to bring comfort to others who have lost their loved ones and show that loved ones who have died may not be seen, but they are still here.